Welcome to this short tutorial on how to create your first milling program in CNC Simulator Pro. We are going to show the basic steps needed to get started with milling in the simulator. The simulator needs a material, a workpiece, and at least one tool as well as the CNC code in order to perform a simulation. There are a lot of built-in tools, materials, and workpieces, but for this tutorial, we are going to create our own. All these resources are stored in a place called the inventory. You can open the inventory from the menu or by clicking on the inventory button at the bottom of the simulator window. Before we start, make sure you have loaded the standard milling center machine and have your simulator set to millimeters. Remember that you can pause the video at any time. Let us first create a material that we will use for our workpiece. In the inventory window, click on the materials tab. Click on the add new button. Type in a name for your material. Select a material color. By default, the material style is set as metal. You can choose between metal, plastic, wood, plain or semi-transparent. For now, let us leave it at metal. All other settings are optional and you can leave them as is. Now click on the Mill Work Pieces tab. Click on the Add New button. Give the workpiece a name. Enter the sizes X100, Y100, and Z30. Select the material you created earlier. Done. Now it is time to create our milling tool. Click on the Tools tab. Click on the Add button. Type in tool diameter 10 and tool shoulder length 50. Type in flute length 30. Change to render style to auto model. Set number of teeth to 4. Click on the suggest name button. Click on the OK button. Great! We now have everything we need to write our first milling program. Close the inventory window by clicking on the X in the upper right corner. We need to enter a special command at the beginning of our CNC program to select the workpiece we created earlier. In the editor, type in dollar, add reg part 1, to add your workpiece to the simulation. Type in T1 followed by M06 to select the tool you created earlier. Type in G92, X0, Y0, Z30, to put the program zero point at the top of the bottom left corner of the workpiece. Type in G00, X115, Y0, Z-5, to position the tool. You can now click on the simulation start button to see that everything looks ok so far. Type in G01, X0, S2000, F200, M03 to make your first cut. Type in Y, 100, to make your second cut. 
Type in X100. Type in Y0. Type in Z5. Type in G28. And the program by typing M30. Now you can click on the simulation start button again to see the result. Let us have a look at some other features. If you click on the goggles button you can select what you want, or do not want to see during simulation. Let us turn on the tool paths and the machine and program zero points. Thank you for watching. Like and subscribe to make sure you don't miss future tutorial videos. Have a great day.